In this tutorial, I'll show you how to quickly create a spherical Voronoi diagram in Blender 2.8 that is entirely parametric. Using only the default modifiers which come with the package, the result will be a watertight mesh suitable for 3D printing or rendering. Let's begin with the default scene in Blender 2.8, using the standard cube as our starting point. Go to the Modifiers panel and choose Subdivision Surfaces from the list. Change the Viewport and Render Subdivisions to 5. A shortcut would be to simply hold Ctrl and press 5 on the keyboard. Next, add a Cast modifier and leave the settings at default. The default sphere cast type should help convert the shape into a perfect ball. You can toggle the display button to see the difference it's made. Add a decimate modifier to the stack. Click the Planar button, then change the Angle Limit to 20 degrees. To create a Voronoi pattern from these edges, be sure to check the All Boundaries option. As you can see, the edges are now distributed in a Voronoi diagram, with planar n-gons representing the centroidal cell patterns. This is similar to a result you might expect from a Fracture plugin or a very basic scripting algorithm. Next, add a wireframe modifier followed by a subdivision surface modifier. Increase subdivisions for a smoother appearance and then also increase the wireframe thickness until you're satisfied with the resulting shape. Finally, add another cast modifier to the bottom of the stack. Adjusting the sphere factor ratio will provide an arc to the wireframe geometry and give it a rounded appearance that just isn't possible using some of the other Voronoi techniques. This is one of my favorite strategies for creating Voronoi models, and the results could be exported for 3D printing or rendering. Altering the mesh by stacking modifiers in a particular way will allow you a bit more control over the final resolution of the object as well as control over the curvature of the outer edge frames of each region. Since we achieve this result entirely with modifiers, every parameter is still fully customizable, and I encourage you to go back and play around with some of the settings in the various modifiers to come up with a result that you're satisfied with. That's all for this lesson. Uh, if you liked the video, please consider subscribing to the channel for more. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you can be notified when new updates are added. See you in the next video.